And these are the most interesting skulls in the Eco Museum. Let you see how big the head is. Still with the hair on it. And then next to it is this one. Which again is an incredibly huge human head. And perhaps most intriguing is this one. Human skull is supposed to have three plates, one in front and two on either side in the back. This one I can only make out two of them. One in the front and one in the back. And this one again, the same. Seems to only be two plates in it. One in the front. There's the separation line. And possibly only one in the back. And these are monumentally huge compared to the average human being. And then we have this one, but this one does have the three plates. You can clearly see that. But this one next door to it doesn't have that. Okay, we just extracted um, skin and bone samples from this Paraka skull. The skin and bone were both taken from underneath here where the uh, neck and head join. This elongated skull is from the Paracas culture. You can tell it's an elongated head and the samples from this are going to be sent to Lloyd Pye in the United States so that he can analyze the DNA from these skulls or this one and uh, three others and uh, from that we're hoping to find out interesting information about this individual as to how old the skull is. You see these interesting little dots there? So we'll see what Mr. Pai has to say about this skull.